Hello guys, hola for returning subscribers. Hello for everyone who is new to my channel. My name is Anna Francia and I am an OFW here in Vietnam for more than two years now. I have been vlogging this year since February and I think you have seen this gray colored mackerel creature and I haven't really introduced him to you guys. I already asked him if he's ready to introduce himself to you. Today, he finally said yes to me. So I want to formally introduce you to my adopted Vietnamese cat, Mochi. Where are you, Mochi? Wait long, guys, he's still a bit shy. There you go, guys. This is my adopted Vietnamese cat, Mochi. Say hi to them, Mochi. Hello, viewers. I think he's a little sleepy. It's actually his nap time, so let's just let him be. I thought on making this special video for my pet cat Mochi because he has been a huge part of my journey here in Vietnam and I thought that I share you a little history about how me and Mochi have met since 2019. Okay, so let's start of when and where did I got him. I joined this group called Saigon Pet Adoption. Every member of this group is free to post, you know, adoptable pets. Working in abroad is quite challenging. It gets a little lonelier. So I thought that why not get myself my own pet? I created these criteria in my mind. It should be gray. I prefer it to be two to three months old. And lastly, it should be a boy. I wasn't really particular in the breed. Any cats will do as long as it is breathing. I have been browsing in this group since September 2019. I was surprised that Vietnamese people and foreigners here in Vietnam are very decisive on adopting pets. So the moment you chose a certain pet in this group, you should contact the person who posted it right away because it will be gone for two or three days after they were advertised in this group. So fast forward guys, after two months of browsing, waiting for myself to be 100% committed on adopting, I have finally found the exact pet that hits all the criteria in my list. I have found this photo and description that was posted by a high school student. Her name is Wun Yu, so I just want to say hi to her. She said that the mother cat was unfortunately caught by bad guys, etc, etc. And I asked her if this gray colored cat is still available for adoption. And she said, yes guys, my heart was pounding. <coughs> Sorry guys, I'm trying not to get emotional, but continuing, I also told this to my bosses and they said, yeah, I also want to get one. So I showed my boss this picture and these are the cats available and she, and she pointed to Mochi and I told her, that's mine, that's taken already. And she pinpointed to another one, which is a white and orange colored cat. So fast forward to November 23, my mission for that day was double. I was getting my pet cat and also getting another for my bosses. I have prepared my stuff for Mochi. I have this red bag because my god was telling me that his favorite color is red. I was on my way to Hock Mon, one hour drive away from the city center. So I booked a grab bike. And I met Boon Yu at that day. I was too shy and I can also feel that she's also shy towards me. The transaction was quite fast and I just asked for one overexposed photo from her. And I take these two babies with me at home. I asked my bosses if I can take care of them together for two weeks because surprisingly guys, they were younger than I thought. I think they are just two to three weeks old. They look so fragile and they're too young to get adopted. So I asked my bosses if I can take care of both of them for just two weeks because I don't think they will survive alone. Fortunately, my boss let me to take care of them both. So the first few days with these cats, they were meowing most of the time and I was so afraid that I will be kicked out of my apartment because of this loud meowing. They were somewhat very needy. At that time, I don't have a cage because I don't have any plans on constraining my pet. So I have this laundry basket and I put them <laughs> inside this for a few days because they keep on <laughs> roaming around and I'm just afraid that I might step on them. So after playing with them and you know feeding them for two weeks, 
So I finally named this great colored cat Mochi. This is only one option that I have. I don't have any other names. I named him Mochi because he's creating this little soft ball beside my neck. You know, baby cats, they love warm temperatures. And temporarily, I named also this white orange cat as Whitey because I cannot be attached to this cat. So I just temporarily named her very generic name Whitey. Eventually, I gave Mimi to my bosses and I let them take care of her after two weeks. That was rough, but you know, I should let go of her. Mochi was left with me, and then day by day, Mochi's been growing from this thin and malnourished cat. His prints are becoming more vivid. His asymmetrical prints on his nose is becoming clearer, and he's even developing his traits. Like, he can be awarded as the most behaved if Mochi is going to preschool. He's super gentle. He's an average eater. Even if I try to give him more food, he has a normal physique. And even taking a bath, he surrenders himself to me 100%. But guys, here is the big butt. He is very skittish. Skittish means easily frightened, easily shocked. Masyadong magugulatin si Mochi guys. But yan yung major trait niya guys. And di ko siya actually pinalaki na ginugulat. I don't know what. I think yan yung natural trait niya ever since. Other than that, I have no problems with him. He has been my companion in one year and seven months now here in Vietnam. I sometimes take him with me in office and I also let him stay on pet hotels for his social experiences. And I also let him meet some furry friends like Mau Mau. Her owner is Ama. Hey Ama! And I try to provide him his needs. It's my responsibility now. Of course, the happiness that he brings to me it equates to me being responsible to him. I made sure that he has his vaccines, his deworming. So far, Mochi brings me a lot of joy and I could not ask for more. That's it guys. That's just the brief history of how I met my Vietnamese cat, Mochi. My heart is sincerely happy that I have finally shared our story with you guys. I hope this video inspires you to get yourself a pet, diba? I just believe that as a human person, we are destined to take care of other living things. Not just the living pets, but also plants, whatever moving creatures are there. Taking care of these living things can be very therapeutic. Adopting pets can change your outlook in life. You have something to look forward to. Iba yung may inaalagaan ka, meron kang minanourish. It can be as simple as plants, it can be as simple as fishes, and it can be as serious as adopting a human person itself. But of course, be mindful that with great pet comes great responsibility to rot. And that is all of it for today guys. Thank you for hanging out with me. I'm so glad having this chat with you and again keep safe guys. I hope you have a healthy body, a healthy mind, a therapeutic life ahead of you and I will see you guys on my next video. Bye bye! Oh, oh. Oh.